So ASUS have just dropped a brand new update to the Armory Crate app packed full of improvements to the ROG Ally. Right here we will compare the old 1.2.13 version to the updates just released in the brand new 1.3.6 Armory Crate app and see which of these new features offer the most improvement, including one that us Ally owners have been desperate to have since launch. So let's dive straight in and find out what exactly is in the changelog description. It states that this update contains hold to repeat functionality for controller buttons. Finally, new levels of VRAM adjustment. The dead zone for the joystick when in desktop mode has been decreased while ASUS continue to investigate other dead zone concerns. Nice. So let's start with that hold to repeat function in the key mapping. Note that this does require the microcontroller unit update. So head to the My ASUS app, head to the firmware update tool and update this to the 311 version. It failed on me the first time and I think this was because my ally wasn't plugged in. So remember to plug in before you hit that update button. And the microcontroller update should look like this when completed. So in the old 1.2.13 Armory Crate, go to Settings, Configure, Gamepad Mode, Key Mapping, ABXY Buttons and the cog icon looks like this. And in the new 1.3.6 update, when you click the cog icon, then a new remove function button has been added, but I can't see any other changes. Can any of you great viewers let us know in the comments exactly what's changed here, because I can't see any difference other than the button being added. The next new feature is the where is my ally giveaway campaign shortcuts being added. On the old version in content, it's not present. And in the new 1.3.6, it's right here in your face, right at the top. I have an exclusive regarding where they're getting the ROG allies for the giveaway competition from, and that is from the Best Buy Returns department. <laughs> Another new feature is a remove button function now added. Here on the old version, this isn't available to choose from. And here on the update, yes, it is right here. This next new feature is a really welcome one and that is battery level, Wi-Fi status and current time has now been added to command center. On the old version here, these aren't present at the top of command center. And here on the update, they now appear and I think this is an awesome improvement as it really is helpful to be able to check the Wi-Fi, battery and time at a glance right here. Another new feature is the ROG official tutorial YouTube playlist has now been added in Help Center. On the old version here in content and in Help Center, this isn't present. And in the new version in Help Center, the ROG Ally YouTube tutorials now appear in Guided Tour and this is great as hopefully many more will be added here over time. Just before we look at what the biggest new feature is, if you've learned something from this video then be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons right now so the YouTube algorithm can spread this video to a lot more amazing viewers like you. You guys rock! Yes, so this new feature is arguably the biggest and it's that 5, 6 and 7 gigabyte options have now been added to memory assigned to GPU setting. So on the old Armory Crate in settings, then operating mode and then at GPU settings, you can only pick from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 8 gigabytes. And on the new updates, you can see here that 5, 6 or 7G can now finally be selected. This is very welcome as a lot of Ally owners prefer 6G, which is now selectable. And let us know in the comments which memory assigned GPU that you prefer. 
The final great new feature is an Xbox Cloud Gaming icon now added in the Game Platforms section. Here on the old version in Content, then Game Platforms, it's not present. And in the new update in Game Platform, the Xbox Cloud Gaming app icon is here. Which by the way on our recent community poll, 27% of you guys choose Xbox Cloud Streaming as your favourite streaming service. There is a great enhancement in that a confirmation pop-up window for the end task function within Command Center has now been added. So in the old version, when you're in a game and you go into Command Center and hit end task, then the game would just shut down without any warning, which sucked if you press this accidentally. And now in the update, it asks you to make sure that you want to close the current window, which is great. And finally, there are five specific bug fixes. I won't go into each one, but I'll just highlight the most annoying one, which is thankfully now fixed. And that's when the on-screen keyboard flashes and disappears when you launch a program through Game Library. This really has been quite annoying. So in the old version here, it sucks that this stupid keyboard pops up for no reason. And thankfully here on the new update, there is no keyboard to be found. Thank you, Asus. By the way, Hi-Fi Rush is an awesome game that was featured in our recent top five games so far in 2023. Definitely check this out on Game Pass if you haven't already. I'd love to hear what you think of the brand new Armory Crate 1.3.6 update. Let us know in the comments below. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. The best revenge is to have enough self-worth not to seek it. Revenge and staying mad at people takes way too much of our precious energy and focus. Life's just too short, so stay encouraged today guys. And check this video out to see the three features that the ROG Ally 2 must have whenever it's released in a few years time. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.